Murderous children have, over the course of many years, become a staple of the horror movie genre thanks to films like The Omen. But you don't see it in video games that often. Children in general tend to be a no-go in most games, but children who go on killing sprees are even less common. But indie games are way less limited by what can make it past a series of board meetings. And just by its core premise alone, Lucius is already an extremely intriguing game. And that premise is not really all that different from movies like The Omen. You play as a murderous child who is secretly the son of Satan, and your goal is to murder as many people as you possibly can without getting caught. When it comes to actual gameplay, at its heart, Lucius is very reminiscent of Hitman, if you play those games in a stealthy manner at least. You're spending almost the entirety of the game figuring out how to murder people while also trying to make it look like an accident or the work of other people, so that nobody manages to figure out it is you doing the murdering. You're also given an assortment of supernatural powers, all of which allow you to do all kinds of fun new things to murder people. Though they do feel more like new weapons or tools than anything special. All in all, it's a fantastic concept that sometimes works very well. The game has a lot of rough edges, almost all of which can probably be pretty easily associated with the game's extremely small development team. There is really bad texture popping, animations can get a bit weird, as in people stuck in bookcases weird. There are just some really nasty bugs that tend to persist as you play the game, but none of those are game breaking. And while none of them may deal a fatal blow to the game, they do leave it with a bit of an unfinished sheen. And there are issues beyond the technical ones. Every puzzle the game presents to you is a bit too simple if you decide to take a look at the game's journal, and almost impossible if you don't, meaning you're either going to have an extremely frustrating time playing this game or an extremely easy one. Now, neither of those choices is very satisfying, and they're certainly nowhere near as interesting as Hitman's very similar environmental puzzles are. There's also only really a single solution to each of the puzzles, which eliminates any replay value it may have had. It also runs way too long for a relatively basic concept, especially considering it all takes place within a single location, a large mansion owned by the boy's human parents. It is kind of neat to keep seeing new places with each successive kill, but you'll spend most of the game running through parts of the house you've seen a million times. Still, those puzzles are just interesting enough to be propped up by the really awesome basic premise. It might be a premise ripped straight out of a whole bunch of Hollywood movies, but it works really well in game form. While I may have spent most of the game wishing that it had more of a budget, the rough edges bring with them their own charm. A charm that people who follow my In Case You Missed It reviews are, by this point, all too familiar with. Every Friday I look at a game that was either ignored when it came out, or has been forgotten since. Games that people have missed. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.